Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back to the Pits YouTube online reseller for the past 13 years or so. Despite what it looks like, I'm not in a dungeon of torture. I'm actually on a road trip, a little vacation. I'm upstate New York, far on down south. I'm visiting my hometown, my friends and family. And if you've been to the channel before, as you know, when I go on these vacations and road trips, I hit up the local thrift stores. I try to mitigate the damage that is done on the cost of my, my fancy pockets in my wallet. So I hit up thrift stores to find stuff at thrift stores to flip online and make some money back uh, to help recoup the cost of the trips. And I think it's a fantastic thing for all us resellers to do if you can. And uh, stick around in this video. I'm also going to be talking about something I've been doing for the past couple of years. And I want to hear your thoughts on this because I do pretty well doing it, but I know it might be, uh, uh, maybe it's not an option for everyone, but I do want to hear for those who have tried it, I want to hear your experience, or, or if you do, it might not be profitable if you do do it. But anyway, I just said do-do, and I just want to hear your thoughts. So stick around at the end of the video. I got a whole tons of information and hopefully useful trip, uh, useful tips. There might possibly be useless tips just as well. So whenever I visit up here, which I do two or three times a year, I bring bags and bags of clothing to consignment stores. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about to see if you guys have any experience in consigning your items. And I realize uh, there might not be enough profit or margin in some of this stuff, or there may not be good options for consignment stores in your area. However, these particular uh, consignment stores that I that I use here uh, are, are pretty good. This is a college town. So there's a lot of college kids and I find a lot of new with tag clothes in my auction lots, my liquidation pallets, uh, and occasionally at the thrift stores. And if I get it cheap enough, I end up finding that what I get from consignment stores actually saves me time. And if not about the same money, if not profit more using consignment stores. And I wanted to talk about that just for a minute. We're gonna hop into the thrift stores. I'm gonna kind of jump back and forth here. And we're off to ye old thrift shop. As soon as you get in the door, we find a couple of boxes of free books. And just like this, channel's advice it's worth exactly what you pay for it this uh caught my eye these dog mugs they're gibson brand which is pretty common there's not a lot of value however i like the artwork and i found that uh, debbie haran is the artist and it looks like if you sell these all together that they do have a little bit of value so i'll put these up for say 35 bucks and hopefully take a best offer i don't love selling mugs but they were only a dollar each and i'll lot them up together same with these here found these ornaments and with christmas coming up uh, i decided to check them out they're three bucks a pop and they're snoopy so, so these are very hit or miss anything of the snoopy ornaments some are just have very little to no value and then some like these seem to do in the 12 to 15 dollar range so i'm going to lot all three of these up together they seem to be selling 12 to 15 each so same thing i'm going to try to get 35 bucks for all three and see what happens i find a couple of gloves it's not the season for gloves unless you're a maniac but i uh, never heard of this brand it wasn't really worth much and they're asking 15 bucks for it so that's just way too high i did find this rawlings and again uh there's some writing on it um some write i mean that's pun intended. And then uh, this was selling 10 bucks at the store. So I'm going to wait till spring and sell this once baseball season rolls around again. And I think I can get like 35 or 40 bucks. So I'll just put that in the uh, goblin layer up until spring. Then I find these these mugs. They, they, they stuck out because of their really high quality. Ferrobilt mills I'd never heard of. Uh, Deneen pottery. And I'm glad I looked these up. These are super popular. 1,500 results for Deneen uh, pottery in the last 90 days so these are selling for multiple per day over 10 per day of these mugs that in combination with the ferrobolt which actually makes these really high-end scarves and blankets i think this is a win-win again only a dollar each so i think i might be able to get 35 40 45 bucks for each of these mugs then i find this i haven't seen one of these in a long time these vintage leapfrog uh, math uh thing and this is from 1998 different this is multiplication subtraction um, addition they all have different values this has a lower value of the bunch it's like 15 dollars or so i got it for a buck so we'll, we'll try it out not a huge score but a score nonetheless then i find these vintage barbie anything old barbie i, I tend to look up some of it same thing hit or miss this is chilton never heard of the brand 
but I did find a few comps where you can see it's like 25 bucks for a 14 piece set or 70, 80 bucks for a brand new set. This is a, you can see how many pieces there are. It's got to be like a 35 plus piece set. So they're selling it for four bucks. So I'm going to put it up. I might be able to get like 35 bucks, 40 bucks out of something like that. 10 bucks for these WWE figures. There's a Hulkamaniac, a Stone Cold, and a couple of rocks. I don't want to pay $250 each for these, but um, it's not the best buy. But I did pick these up because one of these will basically cover eight or nine dollars. Uh, or I should say seven, maybe seven dollars profit. Uh, and the rest will will or I should say seven dollars of my recoup cost, and then the rest will profit. Not the best buy, but I did buy it. Then I find this this stack of Ravensburgers. They're all open boxes, but they're all brand new inside, unused. And you can see some pretty good prices on these, over 45 bucks each. Uh, and that last one I think is about 30 bucks and I'm paying $6 a piece. I'm, I'm making uh, about 20, 20 to $25 on the first two and then about uh, 10 bucks on this last one. So I did pick these three up. I left the last two. They didn't have as much value but i did pick up the other one i find a lot of stuff that's uh, in particular mall brands like abercrombie and fish Aeropostale, postel um maybe forever 21 these types of stores where i uh, i can get jeans for five dollars or less four dollars sometimes and oftentimes they're they're brand new and if i'm selling them online they're such as they're so saturated on ebay that uh, you almost have to run a promotional sale. I don't do promotional sales. I do sales, uh, weekend sales, as you've seen in the past, but I don't do promotional sales. And I almost feel feel like with the amount of saturated for these mall brands, you kind of have to. And even then, you depending on the model of the jeans or the fit of the jeans, you still are only, or, or these particular things that I can sign anyway, I'm only getting about 20 to 25 dollars. And that's including shipping. So after fees, the purchase price, uh, paying taxes on the profits. I end up only, if I sell a, a pair of jeans for, for 25 bucks after everything, I might only be making say five, six, seven, maybe $10 at the most. But the consignment stores in this college town, they can sell these jeans. They do have retail, uh, they do have retail about 50, $60 on some of these or $40 or what have you. And the consignment stores end up selling them for 20 to 25 to $30. And they, and they do a, a 50, 50 split with me. So I actually end up making, even if they sell it at 20 bucks, I'm making 10 bucks, which is just about uh, what I would be making selling on eBay. Plus I don't have to uh, do any of the customer service. I don't have to, to, to pack it up, ship it out. I uh, deal with any kind of customer service. I don't have to do the listing, which saves me a lot of time in, in all of those things. I don't have to waste the time doing it. And I actually think the, the return on my time is better using consignment stores. So I want to hear your guys' experience. We're going to hop back and forth. We're going to go into a thrift store now, but let me know about your consignment. I have a lot of success over the past two years. I would estimate I'm getting maybe $3,000 from the consignment stores. Sorry, it's pretty loud here. I do eBay a lot of clothes, but I don't eBay these specific ones. So uh, a lot of this stuff would end up at a flea market or even, uh, you know, worst case scenario, actually might just end up bringing it straight to a uh, donation center if, if the value is just not there. If but if I can get four or five bucks at a consignment store, then I'd rather do that. So this is just, it's a it's a win-win-win across the board for me. So all this stuff we're bringing to a consignment store. So I took it out of the back so we can get a better look at everything. Obviously you can't see through these bags, but it's just a lot of mall brand type stuff. Uh, Forever 21 stuff in here. There's a whole bag full of brand new jeans from Aeropostale. I don't know, is that how you even say it? Am I an old man who doesn't know how to say brand well, then you can see uh, there's 60 bucks on the price tag here. And I have a bag of brand new, I think there's about 25 uh, total in there. Obviously $60 is just this really marked up retail price. But if you look on eBay, they really only sell for as low as 15 bucks up to on a, you know, on, on some of the, the higher end, Aeropostale is like, I don't know, 30 to 35 bucks is what I'm guessing. But I think the kind of medium price is, is just about 20, 25 bucks. And that includes shipping. So on these, if I sell these, uh, which is, they're also super saturated online, a mall brand like this. So uh, this is the kind of thing I would run a uh, promotional sale on, 
Uh, but I don't like to run promotional sales, especially, and the reason I would, I should say, is because it's so saturated. You kind of have to stick out either with a really low price or just promote your items. But uh, because these are so common and oversaturated, and in addition to, I have about $2 into each of these. So uh, given my, my purchase price, given the sales price of say, say I get 20 bucks on average for a pair of these, after shipping and everything, I'm really only gonna make maybe five bucks on something like this versus this consignment shop that I work with. It's a 50-50 it's a split and they can, uh, I don't know, they set the prices, but I imagine they sell these for 20 to 25 bucks. And I live in, uh, this is not where I live, but this is where uh, the consignment store, it's in a college town. So a lot of college kids come through and uh, shop here. So I always do really well. The, tr the store treats me very well. A lot of this stuff, it's all very, very similar. It's all, most of this stuff is brand new, just mall brand jeans. Uh, some brands like these are just not too popular. I think you can find this at like Kohl's and TJ Maxx, that kind of thing. And you can see $40 price tag, some athletic gear in there. Uh, this is the limited. Uh, it says $80. Obviously, that's a high, yeah, really high detail price. I don't know what that goes to in here. Um, but there's some H&M, some uh, Hurley brand, all stuff that you can sell and does sell on eBay, certainly. But again, when I'm considering the cost of this stuff, when I have it low and it sells for good, uh, uh, about as much as it would in a consignment store as it does online, I'm going to make more money selling it at a consignment store. I'll show you, there's two different stores that I bring this stuff to. And this is Shakedown Street, my favorite consignment store. This is where all the magic happens. So yeah, good news and bad news. The bad news is I'm not bringing anything to the second consignment store. The good news, however, is that because the first consignment store basically took everything. I took about 99% of the stuff. All they didn't take is a couple pair of pajamas and spring uh, clothing, like, you know, the, the warm weather clothing. So uh, I'm actually ecstatic about that. They took about five bags worth of stuff, as you saw, and this is the place that pays 50-50 and they're very popular. They're the more, the more popular store in town um, and they just and have a good relationship with them. So I'm really glad they took all this stuff. She thinks it's gonna do really well. Today she paid me $100. I think it, she sold like $98 total, but she just rounded it up to 100 bucks. So I got another 100 today. Uh, the second store I don't bring as much into, but I have it collected there. Uh, again, in a few months, I think last time I got it was $157. That's actually in a video a while back, a few months back. I think uh, three or four months ago, again, it was like 157 bucks. So I don't anticipate a lot because I didn't bring a lot in. And they pay less. The split here, I believe, is 60-40 uh, in favor, in their favor, 60%, which is a little weird to me. But again, this is all stuff that I don't sell on um on ebay stuff that would have been donated or brought uh, straight to a uh, thrift store or garage sale or flea market anyway if i make two dollars off this stuff the point is that that's makes me happy as i don't really do much work i just drop stuff off so let's head in to this next store silks and treasures so here's the sale sign and we're looking for green tags all green tags are two bucks i don't love selling wilton pants i might regret this uh felt cute might delete this later monkey pan uh, decent decent uh selling price 35 bucks I, I would make like 10 12 14 bucks if that sells uh hopefully it does two bucks i gave it a shot stratego this will definitely sell uh, different strategos have some real value. This one's worth about 37 bucks on Amazon FBA. I'll be selling it through and I'll make about 20 plus dollars on this sucker. Keep an eye out for strategos as there's some really high value strategos. I found this Scrabble Flash. I've sold this plenty of times in the past. This was marked up to nine bucks. It's just too expensive. Uh, $37 on, on, on Amazon. I could still make like $15 or so, but the box is a little beat up. So I'd have to sell it as in used condition. And I'm not going to spend nine bucks just to make three or $4. So I put this one back. The package just a little too beat up to be selling on Amazon sale clothing. I find this uh, Prana, which is a great brand to find out again, green tag, spending two bucks. And it's a, you know, it's a warm weather shirt. So I'm going to hold on to this until the spring. I don't have to, people will still be buying it, you know, in the warm States like, you know, California, Florida that stay warm throughout the year, but I'm going to wait and uh, maximize my, my profits in the springtime. Found this game. I'm, I can sell it for about 15 bucks on, on Amazon. Um, Spending about four fifty on that, so I'm about doubling my money on that. I'm looking for 
obscure titles here and factory sealed DVDs. I had never heard of this one. And this one was 25% off. So I'm paying a little under three bucks and I'll make about $6 on this sucker here, especially with Christmas coming up. A lot of people buy these um, even used DVDs. Then this, uh, again, same thing looking for obscure titles. This wasn't obscure, but it is a band DVD. And some of these band DVDs are a little all over the place. This one happened to have a little bit of value. I think this was uh, $3.50. Um, yeah, $3.50. And uh, I'll be doubling my money, a little more than doubling my money on that. It has a good sales rank. And then I find this sealed DVD. Uh, it seems like a strange thing to have value, but uh, it was 25% off, so a little under three bucks. And it sells for like 33 bucks on Amazon. I was actually shocked. So I'm going to make 20 plus dollars on this sealed DVD. So that's a good score. You can see I made about $80 on consigning these particular items at that store. You can see it's a lot of mall brand stuff here. Just Fab, Fabletics, J and Jill, Treasure Bond, Nine West, uh, some Penguin, J Crew, Abercrombie. A lot of this stuff, like I said, I, I end up either donating or uh, it's just not really worth selling on eBay as all the selling costs, then it's just super saturated, the shipping costs. So I'd make about the same, if not more, on this consignment store. So that's what I'll continue to do with these uh, these mall brand type clothing. So uh, let me know your thoughts on consignment stores and I'll see you guys on the wild. <music>